Okay, so the angina symptoms are not getting any better. We've taken medication, we've rested. What should we do? What are you going to do? Drive to the hospital? No. No. D, call EMS, 911, and get the AED if available. But he's still breathing. Why am I getting an AED? In case. Just in case. We want to keep, we want to get it here, have it on standby, because we know AED is most effective the sooner we can use it. Okay, so we're going to call 911 and grab the AED if it's available. Still no improvement, Jamal. Hannah, call 911. Tell them Jamal's having an angina attack and his symptoms haven't improved after an injury was written. This will help keep you warm. What happened the last time you had these symptoms? I, I felt better after, after I rested, but... We've had a man that suffered from an angina attack. And his symptoms haven't improved. Yes, we've given him nitroglycerin, and his symptoms did not improve. I need to get to hospital. I need to get to him. He's in cardiac arrest. I'm going to perform CPR. What is the main purpose of cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR? Is it A, to restart the heart, B, to prevent cardiac arrest, C, to help circulate oxygen-rich blood to the vital organs, or D, all of the above. So what is the main purpose of CPR? To circulate oxygen-rich blood to vital organs around the body. Awesome. You guys are rocking this. Okay. So we do CPR to help circulate oxygen-rich blood to the vital organs. And this is on the way. As a first aider, you cannot always tell the difference between angina and a heart attack. Angina is a serious warning signal of cardiovascular disease. However, it does not create any damage to the heart muscle. What are some of the signs and symptoms of angina? Okay, so now keeping in mind that angina and heart attack share some signs and symptoms. Off the top of your head, what are some signs and symptoms of angina or heart attack? Chest pain. Chest pain. Okay. Jaw pain. Jaw pain. Let's take a look at these signs and symptoms of angina. And these are classic signs and symptoms. So like we said, cold, sweaty skin, jaw pain, denial, blue or darker lips, darker colored lips, dizziness, confusion because we're not getting enough oxygen to the brain, breathing problems, chest pain or chest discomfort, numbness, weakness, down that left arm, pain in the upper body, nausea, vomiting, gastric discomfort. And that gastric discomfort sometimes might be um, described as uh, heartburn, right? Or feeling like there's pepper in the chest, um, described as uh, heartburn, right? Or feeling like there's in the chest.